take seven, something like that. Let's try again. Disclaimer, my thoughts and opinions, that's it. Second disclaimer, I swear, if you don't like swearing. <laughs> no, no, don't say it, guess. Um, yeah, so basically, I would like to talk about Volodymyr Zelensky, who turned up in the UK yesterday, right? Um, wearing his costume. Now, you know, you could say it's uniform gear, his standard khaki outfit, right? He just turned up to a to a uh, swingers party and took the wrong car keys out of the bowl. <laughs> but dum bum Josh. <laughs> you had it here first because nobody else would have thought that crap gag. Anyway, um so like always wears exactly the same outfit, right? Like he's on the front lines. He goes visiting people. That should be all you need to see of the man to know that he is a fake and a phony and an actor. Now the guy is obviously an ex-comedian and actor. He acted a role where he accidentally or then became the Prime Minister of Ukraine. And now he actually is, and he wears the same outfit all the time. His costume, not his uniform, his costume, because he's playing a fucking part, in my personal opinion, obviously. And there are ways that you can, you can uh, see how there you go. Here's a way that you can see how much you can trust this chap. Um, Rishi Sunak. So he was in in England, and I said Leicester then. He was in England. It was a surprise visit, because then, if anybody knew he would come in, there'd have been chance to do protests, because people would have protested, because he is a charlatan. He's a fake. He's a phony. He is an actor. But... He's there and he's hugging Rishi Sunak. Like the photograph that you saw is quite amusing. It looks like they're they're doing the bolero. They're sort of na 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 that kind of thing. And I'm like, hold on a minute. Something looks wrong with this picture because Rishi Sunak looked taller than Volodymyr Zelensky. I thought, fucking hell, how short is he? When Rishi Sunak became prime minister, it was trending how. How, the search for how tall is Richie Sunak. So I'm like, oh, I want to know. I was quite interested. I thought, what about five foot ten, five foot eleven? No, he's five foot six. He's the same height as Declan Donnelly. All right, he's a very small man. Let's put it that way, right? He's there with old Zelensky, and Zelensky looks shorter than he does. Right? I'm like, you are shitting me. I'm, I'm just calling, calling him the poison dwarf from now on. Um, like, he literally is, is shorter, right? So I'm, I'm like, right, okay. So either Rishi Sunak is wearing Cuban heels, he stood on a box, or they're lying. Because I went and I Googled, and on Google, everywhere says that Zelensky is five foot seven. And I know that's only an inch taller than Sunak, but that what what would it were on the pictures? Well, I've seen the video of him going today to meet with him, and no, he's not bumped up. Like a, a very clever somebody on fa on Facebook yesterday suggested that maybe it was because Rishi Sunak was, you know, meant to be the head honcho that the photo was done so that he appeared larger and more dominant whatever but no no i've watched the video and zelensky is shorter than short because rishi sunak is short zelensky is probably the same height as me and i'm not that tall for a woman i'm five five and a half i think probably five now as i'm getting on a bit get shorter don't you uh so yeah so these are very small people but if you were to believe what you read online, what the official line is, Rishi Sunak's the shorter one. So, there you go. Can't trust them for a start off. Because you can't even trust what height they say that they are. Um, but yeah, so, surprise visit. Like, nobody knew he was coming. Now, Zelensky has been dobbing about recently. Been on a tank offensive. Right, begging with his little begging bowl. 
Or please give me tank. I need tank, right? Now, side note, I've seen a lot of footage from Ukraine, right? I've seen, like, there is sort of warish sort of stuff. But when people are on the ground, boots on the ground, interviewing people, there's always some little old lady with her shopping bags just going about her day. That is not a war-torn country. I know you've got to... You've got to survive in that regime. But you've, you've, these are little old ladies with head squares, just with their shopping bags, just trundling along. And then you've got blokes with helmets and fucking full body armour in front of their cameras going like... Da, 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 da. And there's this little old Matryoshka doll looking bird at the back going like... Fucking hell's this pansy doing? Do you know what I mean? It's like literally people are going about there every day. This is not the level of 14 tanks. Now, England is giving them 14 tanks. 4.2 million per tank. And who's paying for that? The taxpayer is paying for that, right? So I worked it out. I totally got it wrong the first time I did it before. £58,800,000. £58 million pounds on tanks for Ukraine so that they can whatever they're doing their tanks with. Germany is sending them tanks. America is sending them tanks. Everybody is also sending them manpower and training their people. These people are going to be fucking unstoppable by the end. They're going to... Boris Johnson yesterday said we should send them everything we have. It's like, mate, there's going to be World War Three the way that it's going on. But like, we're chucking everything we've got at them. And there's not even evidence... That, that that is a massive fucking war zone. Do you know what I mean? I'm not buying. I am not buying it at all. Right. So he's gone round and he's like, "Give me tanks, give me tanks." Everybody's like, "Yeah, have your tanks." And then he turned up. So he, he he did. I think his last one was America, but I'm not I'm not sure. Biden's like, "Yep, we'll give you whatever you need." Then puff turns up in the UK yesterday. Oh, also, uh, can I have all your uh, planes as well? Powerful planes. And give me your powerful planes, right? So that's a f hundreds of mil hundreds of millions we'll have given to them, right? To fight this war that isn't visible, actually. So there's this chap, I can't remember his name, offhand, hand, it might be Philip something, it might be Paul, it may not even begin with a P. Now there's this chap that I... Uh, saw a video of the other day and he was in Ukraine and it was a civilian's house or some kind of civilian thing Ukrainian and it had been bombed and to the western world we're being told that the Russians did that he went amongst the uh, rubble found the shell that had killed these people and it was one we'd given to the Ukraine the West had given to Ukraine to fight off Russia. Ukraine had bombed its own people with. I ain't making it up. But look for that elsewhere. Don't quote me because this is just my opinion on it. And it's just a random thing that I remembered that I'd seen. But it's not proof that it exists. But if you go looking, I'm sure it's there. Um. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, like there's... Like, I'm not saying I know exactly what war's meant to look like. But, like, for instance, when Boris Johnson went over there, he, did, he didn't have a bulletproof vest on. Our prime minister he was at the time. No protective equipment at all. Just suit, trousers and a shirt and tie. Just casually walking through the streets. And they've got all these geezers around them with with their helmets and their body armour and their guns, protecting them. Nobody around anywhere in this war-torn country. And there's Bojo, just merrily flobbing his blob about, like, blobbly blobbly blob, like Mr. Fucking Blobby going down the street. Oh, wah, 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 wah. oh Zelensky, looking down, obviously, because he's a very small man. Um, even smaller than Rishi Sunak, who is also a very small man. If you look really carefully, you can just about spot him. Anyway, so yeah, Rishi Sunak, yesterday, he's doing, like, the, the, I saw um, footage of him walking through uh, Downing Street, number 10 Downing Street, people lining the corridors, giving him employees, being paid 
to stand there as he's walking through these corridors. All employees were stood there. No people outside. Nah. Also saw footage of him in Westminster with the Labour people and the Tory people fucking giving him a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, he wants planes. Go on. It's like, no, stick him in fucking in the Leicester, Leicester Royal Infirmary, mate. See what the nurses have to say about him getting his fucking planes. Because at the minute, we've got everybody fucking striking. We've got the ambulance people striking. We've got the nurses striking. The post office, the trains, the fucking shelter People f who work for fucking shelter are fearing becoming homeless. And I don't know whether they're still doing it. Probably sorted that one right out because that does not look good. None of them look good. Civil service workers. I don't even know what civil servants do. But I should imagine it's like working for the council, just that. But anybody who's paid by the government is striking because the government isn't paying its people at just a standard living wage, Right? But Zelensky, the poison dwarf, turns up. Rishi Sunak said to him yesterday, when it comes to arming Ukraine, you know, paraphrasing here, when it comes to para to giving these people what they want, nothing is off the table. So basically, everything that Zelensky ye 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 asks for, Zelensky gets. Right? It doesn't matter what it costs the British taxpayer. The people who are paying for this death and destruction because you do not buy tanks if you want to save people are being paid for by the doctors and nurses who are fucking striking because they ain't getting paid. And what little they do get, they're paying out in tax and that's getting shipped off to fucking Ukraine to bomb you. Whoever you say they're bombing, it's still bombing. They're still being used for death. But you won't say, you won't see, so sorry, this is going to sound awful, but, you know, it will be, oh, teachers as well, teachers and nurses. Teachers and doctors and nurses have just seen the greatest fucking scam since 2020, end of 2019, if we're being pedantic, the greatest thing, bad thing that ever happened to people for a very long time, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't want to be had up by Matt Wanks up for being anti-Semitic, ain't got nothing to do with that, right, at the end of the day, it's like literally in my lifetime, this is the greatest fucking scam done on humanity and other things that were off, not off the table, PPE, for you know, and all the all the posh twats, all their mates got all these got all these uh, contracts. A lot of it completely fucking useless. We were spending millions just storing the fucking stuff. We literally the shift of wealth over the past two three years has been absolutely fucking ridiculous. And the wealth is in the hands of people like well, well it's not like Sunak and Zelensky. They're just the actors, it's, it, we are in an actor-based reality. And no, that does not mean that Tom Holland and James McAvoy are the same man. It means that the people playing these roles are just going through the motions. Rishi Sunak does not make these decisions. If he did, he'd have a different decision from Biden and from the German Prime Minister. I'm sorry, I don't know who anybody is. Because I don't want to. Because it's all a fucking pantomime. All the world's a stage and the people merely players. And these people are playing the most. That's why Zelensky is always wearing the same costume because he is acting a role just like he did when he was an actor and when he was a comedian he was playing a piano with his knob and I've seen his nipples when he was wearing high-heeled shoes this is the man that you can trust the man who says he's five foot seven an inch taller than Rishi Sunak when he's actually an inch shorter than Rishi Sunak this is who you're going Everybody's, you know, got blue and yellow bloody profile pictures surrounds and what. Literally, we are being fucked over and we need to start to come together now and start connecting these dots. Because when you see that nurses are striking, didn't strike because uh, people were being killed. Nah, 
then then like literally biggest fucking genocide and we will see this in the company nope shh, can't have opinion on that strike that from the record um but yeah didn't when when they're being we're being told that that hospitals are overrun we were in a deadly pandemic they're making tiktok videos didn't have a fucking thing to say about it just let the bad guys get away with being bad guys and it's only when money comes into it that they're like no no i ain't having this it's like i'll I'll, I'll have them fucking you know killing people with fucking ventilators yeah it's not yeah it's just doing my job but as long as i get enough wages for that job but these people are paying their taxes to kill people. So don't say you're in the you're in a caring profession if you're not prepared to stand up and care. Care, love, isn't something you can buy. It's not something you can pay. You can't pay someone to care, right? If someone cares. You can and 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 genuinely does care, and a lot. I mean, let's face it; it's not the nurse's fault, right? But a lot. Nobody said anything. There are some. They get shut up, so you don't see much of that. You just see the ones going like this. It's like literally, if we go like that at the actors, we get our shekels. Do you know what I mean? We get our little. We get to pay the mortgage. We get to pay our council tax. We get to buy eggs. Oh, my God. This is a completely separate topic. I went into fucking co-op today for a, a big jar of a uh, bottle of Heinz Cellar Cream. Nearly a fiver. I nearly shat my pants. I'm like, you what? Do you know what I mean? It's like, no, keeping prices reasonable. That's not on the table. <laughs> Giving everybody a living wage. That's not on the table. Heating old grandma's homes, that's not on the table. Giving everybody a decent standard of healthcare, that's not on the table. Making sure that we've got enough dentists to keep people's teeth right, that's not on the fucking table. None of it is on the table. What's on the table is anything that fucking causes death in a country we're never going to go to. We're never going to go to Ukraine. It's got fuck all to do with us. And it's not a case of, oh, yes, but Putin, like, you know, like, if we allow this. No, the more weaponry we stick there, the more chance that there's going to be, that it's going to escalate into something bigger. We need to go, like, right, okay, just, why doesn't anybody say no to it? Because all of these people, all of these actors are all working from the same script and them guys up there are the ones who wrote the script and they handed it out and everybody's playing their little part then us the audience completely in the fucking dark we just sit there he's clapping on that clap <laughs> yeah <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's absolute fucking lunacy. It's time to settle up the hippos. It's time to start talking to each other because this is so blatant. The only way you can't say it now is if you refuse to look. If you refuse to say, war gets all the money. People of the UK have to fight for it. And then everybody else has to suffer because these people are striking and he's like, yeah, I want all your planes. Boris Johnson's like, give him all of our planes. It's like, how's that going to fucking work out? If they get all the fucking planes, and there is, they do start World War fucking 3, and it comes over to our side. How are we going to defend us of that stuff? I'm not getting into fucking war talk. It's all fucking bullshit. It's all about the money, and it's all about control up there. Stop me and buy one. Let's have a chat. It's time to start talking so that we can just fight. Who's with me? Love you. Bye.